What you're looking at here is the turbo compressor project constructed by my students. It's something we've put together over the course of a couple of years. Every year it grows in capability and expands in complexity. The heart of the project is a turbocharger taken here from a diesel engine. We do not have an actual engine to spin the turbo, so what we're doing is we're using a two horsepower air blower to blow air through an on-off shutoff valve and then into the turbo side, the turbine side of the turbo to spin it up. And then the compressor of the turbo simply spins, draws in ambient air, and discharges through a nozzle. And we can suspend a ping pong ball in the airstream of the nozzle, as you'll see here shortly in the video. We're doing this to simulate uh, large rotating machinery, although in this case it's not a very large piece of machinery. We are instrumenting it in the same way you might expect to see a regular compressor set up. So what we have here is a vibration monitoring system. We are measuring the vibration of both the oil pump right over here, supplying oil to the turbo bearings. We're also measuring vibration of the air blower blowing air into the turbine. We do not, at, as of yet, have vibration monitors on the turbo shaft itself, nor are we measuring turbo RPM. Those are features I would like to add in the near future. In addition to vibration measurement, we're also using the Bentley Nevada system to measure air temperature. We have ambient air temperature, we have oil reservoir temperature over there, and then we're also measuring the temperature of the air going into the turbine side of the turbo. That air does heat up with the power we're putting into that blower. It's a noticeable temperature rise, as you'll see soon. We're also measuring oil level in the oil reservoir. The reservoir itself is that chamber back there. You can see a sight glass that indicates the level of the oil visually. We are also indicating the level of the oil through this photohelic gauge. We're bubbling air at a very slow rate through a bubble tube inside the reservoir. As the air forces its way out the bubble tube, it builds up a back pressure equivalent or proportional to the level of the oil in the reservoir. That air pressure is indicated by the photohelic gauge for visual indication and also for shutdown control. This orange needle right here indicates the low level limit. If the oil level falls below that limit, it trips a contact telling the PLC to shut down the turbo. Similarly, we have a oil pressure switch on the oil line. And if that oil pressure switch right down there indicates that we have insufficient oil pressure, that will immediately shut down the turbo. We're also measuring the oil pressure in an analog sense, just as we're measuring the oil level in an analog sense over here. Vibration monitoring for the Bentley Nevada system is also tied into the shutdown PLC. So if we have excess of vibration on either the oil pump or on the air blower, that will shut the turbo down. Similarly, we have shutdown protection on temperature. If our temperature exceeds a preset limit, we will shut the turbo down. I'll now demonstrate or show, illustrate the other side of the system. You can see here, we have a junction box for some of our wiring. You can see more details of the oil system. All the oil gets pumped through a filter unit and before it gets sent to the turbo bearings. Over here, the back side of the Bentley Nevada system. Over here, the back side of the turbo. Here you can see the turbine side of the turbocharger. Here, the compressor side, where it draws in ambient air, discharges the air through this white plastic tube through a nozzle, and up there at that nozzle is where we're going to suspend our ping pong ball. You can also see the shutoff valve right here. It's a piston actuated ball shutoff valve. We use this for emergency shutdown of the turbo. We also keep this ball valve shut during the startup procedure until the air blower has reached a close to full speed. So the PLC maintains or controls the timing of the system in the startup and the shutdown. One of the things you'll see when we start this up is that the PLC waits a certain amount of time on turning on the oil pump before it begins to energize the air fan. We want to make sure there's oil going to the turbo bearings before we turn the air fan on and open up the valve. So here we go with the startup. On the HMI panel, you can see presently we have oil level within range, and we also are showing the oil pump and the air fan off with no runtime. I'll pull out the emergency stop button, make sure that's out. I'll turn the switch to enable. Then I'll press the start button right here, and you'll see it start up. What you hear is the oil pump running. Soon you'll hear the air fan turn on, then the air valve open. Turbo is now running. Going to the other side.
There's our ping pong ball. And of course, we can shut the system down in a controlled manner. We can simply turn the switch to the stop position. It immediately shuts off the valve, sending air to the turbo. The air fan shuts off, but the oil pump continues to run for a short period of time because that enables oil to go to the bearings while the turbo is coasting to a stop. And now everything is completely shut down.